hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial uh, this is going to be a tutorial on the blender game engine and furthermore it's going to be uh, a spiritual child of my last tutorial uh, which was uh, on how to create a system for in the blender game engine that uh, will uh, rotate uh, the camera uh, around a given object and furthermore uh, with the system uh, you could zoom in and out and uh, of course uh, the camera would follow uh, the object whenever uh, whenever the object moves uh, what we're going to ah, and uh, furthermore uh, i'm going to provide you some links uh, with uh, that tutorial for uh, the camera system uh, the links uh, will be provided in uh, both uh, the video uh, in a pop-up window but uh, you can find it also uh, in the description uh, of the video so I'll take as granted that you have already watched uh, that uh, tutorial on uh, uh, the camera system and uh, what we're going to do today is what you see here okay we have our uh, camera system we can rotate around the object but of course uh, in our game there will be uh, obstacles in the game okay let's say that this one here you can see the cube here uh, this is a building okay so if I rotate here you can see that uh, there is an obstacle between uh, the central uh, character the object we are tracking at the camera so uh, the central object is not visible uh, what we want to do is uh, in these occasions is that uh, whenever an obstacle an obstacle is placed between uh, the object and the camera uh, we want the camera to automatically zoom and come here uh, so uh, we will not uh, lose uh, vision uh, of uh, our central object and that's what we're going to do today okay I automatically place the camera in front of obstacles and in order to do this uh, we're going to uh, use uh, the scripts from uh, the previous tutorial and uh, here we have a radius key uh, which of course is the radius uh, of the imaginary sphere uh, on the surface on the surface of which uh, our camera uh, moves okay imagine that there is an imaginary sphere and the camera is placed uh, on this imaginary sphere and it moves okay you can easily see that uh, the movement of uh, the camera is like uh, it is placed on a sphere on the surface on a sphere okay and this key holds uh, the radius of the sphere or in other words it's the distance between uh, the central object and the camera uh, what I'm going to use is another key let's name it radius temp and this key is going to have the same value with the radius key uh, the radius key is the key I, I'm going to uh, make all changes to okay so whenever uh, the camera uh, whenever an, obstab an obstacle uh, is uh, between uh, the central object and the camera uh, the radius will be uh, changed uh, in order to place uh, the camera between uh, in front of uh, the object but uh, this radius temp we won't change uh, its value and we will see why okay let's go down to the main script and okay I have already written it but I'm going to write it again okay uh, furthermore we want this radius temp here to change its value only whenever we zoom in or zoom out okay here is the code uh, which is used uh, whenever we zoom in so whenever we zoom in the GD radius uh, changes its uh, value and fer so uh, the same thing uh, will happen for the temp radius uh, value and here in the piece of code which controls the zooming out uh, we do the same thing we change uh, the radius uh, of the imaginary sphere and furthermore uh, we set uh, the same value uh, to the temp radius so that's wha what we need to do uh, for a start and for now uh, our code uh, doesn't have any visible effect okay nothing has changed okay the camera 
still the object uh, uh, is uh, between uh, the camera and the central object so let's see how we're going to track uh, whether there is uh, an obstacle and in order to do this we're going to use a function named raycast okay it's a function of uh, the object class and let's go to the tutorials for blender3d.com site and here we have uh, the raycast uh, function uh, which uh, uh, is uh, belongs to the game object class and here is uh, the syntax it takes uh, some parameters and uh, we're going to explain what uh, these parameters are two uh, is uh, the target uh, of uh, the ray so it's going to create a ray that starts from here is uh, the object or point uh, the origin of the ray and two is uh, the target of the ray so uh, in our example we are going to use as a target the camera and uh, as a source uh, the central object okay so let's go back and here the central object it's called hero so recast uh, first we are going to uh, to write the target the target is own and i'm writing own because this script is attached to the camera and uh, i'm sorry but someone was calling me and hero is will be uh, the source okay hero is the source and own which is the camera is the target and next uh, is going it's the third parameter distance and we are going to set this at zero and zero means uh, sorry zero means means infinite distance next there is the property uh, this means uh, if we want to have a property that will filter uh, which object will be an obstacle or not if you leave it empty all uh, all uh, other uh, objects will be uh, uh, will be encountered uh, will be encountered uh, as obstacles and we don't want that we don't want uh, all objects to be uh, uh, to be uh, obstacles and i'm going to specify a special uh, a property that all the objects will have okay imagine that we have uh, a grass obstacle we don't want it uh, to act uh, as an obstacle to that will cause uh, the camera to zoom in uh, but uh, in uh, for big buildings uh, or mountains or spe especially large uh, models uh, we want them to act uh, as obstacles so i'm going to add a game property let's call it uh, obstacle okay we don't care about uh, the value of uh, the obstacle uh, property here we just want it to exist so let's write obstacle okay next parameter is face face is uh, whether you want to have uh, the na face normal uh, return or not i'm going to lay it to zero because we don't care about the face normal next we have the x-ray uh, parameter the x-ray one is going to check behind objects that don't have property or zero only check first object hit and of course i'm going to uh, set it to one because uh, i want to, to check uh, behind uh, the objects that don't have uh, the property i'm going i need the array to check all the objects uh, that are intermediated uh, between uh, the central object and the camera until it finds an object that is that has the property uh, obstacle we have set here so set this to one and the final parameter poly it gives uh, the polygon we don't need this as well so press zero okay so we have this uh, function here uh, we cannot uh, leave it uh, like that we need to set a variable let's set object hit and we have to specify an object uh, class and uh, let's say own okay own 
to the camera because the script is attached to the camera okay I have used on here but it doesn't really matter which one which uh, script uh, uh, which uh, object viewer you are going to use you could have used a hero as well and uh, that's uh, why uh, that's uh, because uh, both uh, the uh, target and the origin of the ray are specified in the parameters uh, of uh, the raycast uh, command so we just need to specify an, an object uh, whichever object in the game and uh, we don't care uh, which object that will be so having done this we're going to uh, check whether whatever uh, ah, furthermore let me explain uh, what the result of uh, the raycast function is uh, the raycast function returns uh, not only uh, one result but a list of uh, results okay this is it returns a list of four results the first result is the game object it's the name of the object uh, that uh, the ray encountered and uh, the second is the hit position the position uh, where uh, the game object that was uh, encountered uh, is and the third is the normal of the game object that was hit and the last uh, the polygon uh, of the game object that was hit uh, what uh, information what result we want from these four is the hit position and uh, what we want to do is uh, place the camera uh, where uh, and place the camera where uh, that uh, position is so we're going to check first of all whenever uh, wherever uh, whether an object was hit if string of hit object zero it is not none okay what we're doing here first of all uh, we take the result the zero result of this uh, list okay the zero result is the game object and furthermore I prefer to uh, convert uh, all the results to strings so I may easily uh, make comparisons uh, because this one here is a string and this one here is a string so I'm not going to uh, get any errors uh, for, for different types uh, of data so I'm checking whether the string of the object was that was hit whether it is not known uh, in this case the that means uh, we have uh, an uh, an object uh, between uh, the camera and the central object so in this case I'm going to change the radius uh, of uh, the camera the distance of the camera from the object and I'm going to uh, give it uh, 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 to set it to the distance to the new distance uh, which is uh, the hit point the distance of the hit point and uh, the central object okay remember that the hit object is given uh, from this uh, here from uh, uh, the second element which is indexed as one okay this is the zero element and this is the one element the first element and uh, this element here uh, holds uh, the hit position uh, where uh, the game object the game object uh, the object was placed so we have another class and it's the get distance to okay the get get distance to other uh, it uh, gives uh, uh, the distance from uh, an object to another okay uh, so the this other this parameter other could be either a game object or uh, the coordinates of an object and the coordinates are given uh, in the hit element uh, of uh, the raycast uh, uh, list with the results so in this case we want the radius to be equal to the distance from the hero to get distance to uh, hit okay so in this case uh, what we want to do is change the radius 
of uh, uh, change uh, the distance uh, of the camera uh, to the central object and set it to the distance between the hero and the uh, and the position and the coordinates uh, where the ray hit our uh, object, uh, our obstacle. Uh, in any other case, what we want to do is we want to set the radius t equal to the gd radius 10. And this means if uh, we don't have uh, an obstacle, then the camera is going to return to its original uh, uh, to its original uh, uh, distance. Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, so uh, we have a problem somewhere. Let's check the console. Hit obs is not defined. No, it's obs hit, not hit obs. And here is OBG hit. Okay, sorry if I confused you. Okay, here and here is OBG hit. And let's save. I'm sorry for the delay, but I'm saving on an external hard disk. It takes some time. Okay, so let's see now. I'm rotating. Zoom in and out has a problem because. Here I have written GS, GS while it is GD. So I'm zooming in and out. I'm rotating. So now that I'm going behind an obstacle, okay, you see that the camera automatically zooms in. And now that I'm going to leave from the obstacle, okay, whenever you leave the obstacle, the camera gets its original uh, radius. Let's see. Okay, you see that it automatically takes place in front of the obstacle and it automatically returns to its original radius. And this way you can zoom in and out automatically whenever you want, whenever you have an obstacle. And furthermore, notice that here we have this object and which has a the obstacle property and if we create another obstacle let's duplicate this one but if we delete this obstacle property and run again the game okay in this in the object that has the obstacle property our camera is going to zoom in but for the obstacle uh, that does not have this property okay you see that the camera won't zoom in and out so you can select which objects uh, you want uh, to act as on the as obstacles or not and uh, okay let's say that you have a fence okay which uh, has uh, holes and gives enough uh, visibility of uh, your central character okay in this case uh, you wouldn't want uh, to you wouldn't want uh, to have uh, uh, to make it act as an obstacle because uh, uh that uh, the visibility of the act of the character would be uh, ac uh, adequate, but uh, for large buildings, uh, we wish to make the camera zoom in and out, so we won't lose uh, the sight of our central character. And uh, this is uh, for now. Uh, okay, I hope you liked it, and. Uh, uh, I'm going to prepare some more uh, tutorials. Uh, if you want to comment or uh, suggest something, you are free to do so. And thank you for uh, watching this. Uh, until next time, uh, have fun and keep blending. <laughs>